How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This time I'll be doing a review of the Nobra Kurisaki um, from Jutsu Kaisen, and this is the noodle stopper figure made by a company called Furyu, something like that. Um, so yeah, these figures' purpose, I guess, uh, when you're making your two noodles, you open the lid, you pour in the hot water, and you place these figures over the lid to keep it closed. Um, I don't use these figures for that purpose though, because one, I never really eat two minute noodles and two I don't really see the uh, whole point of you know when you're making your two minute noodles you pour in hot water then you like run over to your <laughs> shelf where you have this figure on display pick it up off your display and then run over back to the kitchen and put these figures on I just like to stick a fork on top of the lid it's a lot more uh, convenient but uh, who knows, maybe some people use it for that purpose, but anyway, kind of rambled on there for a bit, so on with the box first. So I'm bringing the figure out of the way. Here we have the box. Um, yep, there we go. Side, back, other side, top and bottom. So anyway, on with the figure now. So here we have the figure out of the box, and there's no assembly required. Uh, clear cube thing that's really dusty isn't included um, the figure just comes like this but I kind of need the uh, clear cube just to have her standing up because uh, on her own she can't stand or sit very well um, would be cool if these came with like a you know a base just sit her on top um, as you know the only other option is to uh, get something that's not with the figure or have it displayed on the uh, edge of your uh, shelf, but uh, not a huge deal. But overall, the paint sculpt on this figure is pretty nice looking. It's a bit smaller than I thought it would be because the box is quite large, so I was kind of expecting the figure to be a bit bigger than this, but not a huge deal. It still looks pretty good. But uh, looking at the face first, overall, that lighting is terrible. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good for the most part. Good lord, why does the face shine so much? There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. But all in all, the paint and sculpt does look pretty good. Looks okay. The face doesn't quite look like her from the show, but it's not the worst. There have been worse. But the hair is nicely painted overall. Down to the body, it's in that same outfit which uh, every single Nobu release so far has been this outfit. Um, there is one that's coming out soon that's in a different outfit, which is cool. But yeah, it's not like it's sculpted and painted. I believe this is the first prize figure Nobu did not come with a hammer, so that's cool, I guess. Yeah, down the legs. So all in all, the... Uh, Details are pretty good on this figure. I have no issues with the paint. It's okay. Again, with a uh, size comparison, here's the uh, pop-up parade one. And as you can see, she's a little bit smaller. But yeah, not too bad. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty decent figure. Um, I got mine for about 1,000 yen, but price does vary, especially online. Um, as I do just buy my price figures from a store called Book Off, usually, uh, which is a store in here in Japan. So yeah, now, if you see this for a decent price, I do recommend picking her up. If you're a fan of the character or like the show. But anyway, that does it with this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.